Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan and today we are going to classify chemical reactions. Yes, there is more than one type of chemical reaction. Specifically, uh, we're going to describe and classify a reaction as a synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, or combustion reaction. And then to get even more nitty gritty, we're gonna describe and classify a precipitation and acid base reaction as a specific type of that double replacement reaction. So there's a lot of different ways that we can classify a chemical reaction. And grouping these chemical reactions in this way will help us better understand sort of what's going on in the chemical reaction itself. Okay, so our first type of chemical reaction is a synthesis reaction, where two or more substances come together to form a new substance. As you look at your screen there, you've got a general formula for a synthesis reaction in which you have two or sometimes three or sometimes four. But the important thing is they're coming together to form one thing. As you look at this drawing to help you better understand what's going on in a synthesis reaction, we've got two separate things to begin with. Um, and then this little skinny bird eats this giant worm and becomes this huge fat bird. In other words, two small things come together to form one large thing, synthesis reaction. Now, let's take a look at some chemical reactions um, that are maybe not birds and worms. We've got a mole of solid sulfur is added to one mole of oxygen gas, don't forget that diatomic state, forms sulfur dioxide, one mole of sulfur dioxide gas. Synthesis reaction, two small things come together to form one big thing. Reaction type number two, decomposition reaction, is where one single substance breaks down into two or more substances. This is often described as the opposite of synthesis. Now we're breaking it down. Uh, here's your general equation for decomposition reaction. We've got one thing, this egg before it hatches with the little baby turtle inside, and then boom, it breaks down into a shell and this very cute and cuddly baby turtle. Turtles are wild animals. You should not ever pick one up. Some examples, two moles of solid mercury two oxide decomposes, whoa to form two moles of liquid mercury and one mole of oxygen gas. Reaction type number three, a single replacement reaction is where one element, single element, replaces another one in a compound. Now to describe this, I like to think of a dance floor. You've got this great looking gentleman on the dance floor all by himself, corresponds to your element that's all by itself. And you've got this great looking couple on the dance floor as well, corresponds to that compound. Uh, but as you look at what happens here, this gentleman with some amazing dance moves comes in, kicks this guy to the curb, single replaces him. And now our original element that was by itself is now part of a compound and it has kicked what was part of the compound, the element was part of the compound, out to the curb by itself. Single replacement. Let's do an example. We've got two moles of solid aluminum plus three moles of liquid water forms one mole of solid aluminum oxide and three moles of hydrogen gas. Uh, again, recognize here the aluminum is the element. It displaces the hydrogen, kicks it to the curb so that hydrogen is by itself. Reaction type number four, a double replacement reaction it results when the ions of two compounds exchange places in an aqueous solution to form two new compounds. So we're talking about when we've dissolved two things in water. A great way to understand double replacement reactions is to think of these gentlemen and their hats. As you look at the general equation here, we've got two compounds and essentially they switch hats. So A starts with B and ends up with D. C starts with D but ends up with B. Now we've got a couple specific types of double replacement reactions. 
the first of which is known as a precipitation reaction, which is going to occur when we have the formation of a precipitate or a solid. It's just a specific type of double replacement reaction. As we look at an example of a double replacement reaction that is in particular a precipitation reaction, however, recognize that this is a precipitate that has formed. How do I know this is the precipitate? Well, what is a precipitate? It is a solid. Uh, these other ones are aqueous, which means that they are still dissolved in water. A second specific type of double replacement reaction is known as an acid-base reaction. And this occurs when an acid and base are mixed to form water and a salt. This is also known as neutralization. Now we'll talk a lot more about this type of reaction when we discuss acids and bases, but what you're gonna be looking for in an acid-base neutralization reaction is the formation of water and a salt. But notice again here we have a double replacement. We have essentially a switching of the partners here, a switching of the hats. Additionally, again, keep in mind we're forming a salt in an acid-base neutralization reaction. Doesn't always have to be sodium chloride as we'll learn. Okay, and our last type of reaction is a combustion reaction. Uh, this is a substance that combines with oxygen, releasing a large amount of energy in the form of light and heat. This is everybody's favorite chemistry reaction. We get to do a lot of these. It's a lot of fun. That's why I'm a chemistry teacher. In combustion reactions involving hydrocarbons, which are those compounds that consist of just hydrogen and carbon, uh, the only things you're going to produce are water and carbon dioxide. So a key thing you're looking for in combustion reactions uh, especially if hydrocarbons are water and carbon dioxide as your products. So here are a couple examples of combustion reactions. Uh, these are your hydrocarbons. They are compounds that consist of just carbon and hydrogen. Oxygen is the other reactant that you need in order for combustion to occur. And your products are going to be water and carbon dioxide. All right, a quick link to some of those fantastic images that I use to help make analogies for the different types of reactions. And we're done.